Hi, this is Hala at Home Junction. In this video, we're going to go over how you would create a blog post. First, you'll want to log into your dashboard. From here, you'll go into Posts and Add New. You want to title your post with something attention grabbing. For example, I'm going to do Hot Deals in Houston. Here's where you're going to want to add your content. Um, generally, you'll want to have an attention grabbing title as well as an attention grabbing header. And then a lot of times using a list will work very well. It's very engaging and people always want to know more. So if you have something informative, a list is a good format for that information. So I'm just going to copy the information that I have ready for my blog from my Word document. Oops. Thanks for bearing with me on that. There we go. So now that that's been copied, I'm just going to go ahead and paste my content. And it's always a good idea to have internal links to other internal pages on your website. So you don't necessarily want to link out to your homepage, but if you can include some kind of internal links within your blog post, that's always good for SEO value. So for example, my first line is, are you looking for a home in Houston? So what I'm going to do is take Houston and link that to my Houston page. So I have that already pulled up here. And for the front end, you'll just grab the URL. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then go back to my blog post. Now that I have Houston highlighted, I'm going to come up here to this link button. This is going to allow me to paste the URL for the page that I want to link out to. Then you'll hit apply. Another idea is because I said I have a ton of great listings to look at, I want to give them a link to the page that has all of my listings. So I'm going to highlight tons of great listings. Once again, I'll select that link button and I have the page pulled up that I want to share with that link. And I'll just go ahead and copy. And then once more, paste the URL and hit apply. So it's always great to have some kind of link back to your website within your blog posts. Another good idea, aside from making list posts and aside from linking out to your website within your blog post, is to add media. You can do that by going up here to the Add Media button, and you can choose directly from your media library, or instead you can upload a file directly from your device. I'm going to choose something from my media library today, and I'll hit Insert into Post. And that's how you'll add images. You can also categorize your blog posts. So for example, if I wanted to um, categorize this into a news post, I could check it off here, or I can leave that uncategorized, or I can check it off as a regular blog post. Um, you can also add a new category if you'd like to organize your blog in a different way. You can also add tags. Um, for your featured image, that is going to be the image that appears large in the background of your post. So you'll want to set that here. Once you have created your blog post, you can go ahead and hit publish. Now that that's been published, I'm going to come around to the front here and go under blog. Because I didn't check off the category blog, it's not going to appear on this blog archive page. So I want to go back to my edit post and check off blog. And then update. Any changes you make after publishing, you'll always want to remember to come back and hit this blue update button or your changes will not stick. So now that I've put a category on and since I'm pulling in the category blog, I'll go ahead and reload this and our post will now appear. So this has been our blog tutorial. Feel free to give us a call if you have any questions or need some assistance. We can be reached for support at 
777-9533 at extension 4. We can also be reached via email at help at homejunction.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.